Hi YouTube, I'm back again. It's probably day three. I'm coming to you with a quick, well, I'm gonna give you a couple different looks of how to apply a lip. Because a lot of women always ask, oh, I want to wear this nice lipstick, but I don't know how to apply the lip and I don't want to mess up. It's, 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 it's kind of simple. And you'll get the hang of it. Just practice. And a lot of things that I always tell a lot of people when they're trying to apply makeup in any form of fashion. When you're home and you do have free time, just sit, wash your face, you know, and just sit there and practice. Because a practice makes perfect, right? Okay. I don't want to take all up of your time all day, so I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to start off with a brown pencil by uh, NYX. I like this pencil. It's not going to really go with the face right now because I really don't have on much makeup. I have on like a couple BB, BB cream for my spots and stuff like that. That's all I really have on it. Some mascara. And my eyebrows are always going to be on fleek. That's just me. Unless I'm starting from a fresh face. But, um... I love this brown pencil. I might have to go pop the um, lipstick too, because it's, it's. I just like it. It's like not too. It's like it's like a brown skin girl's nude. Like I like it or whatever. So, let me get right to it. You can start off with the X. You can kind of see it on my lip. Probably not, because it's kind of really matching towards my lip. But you see this light area of my lip. Not everyone has one, but just go there. And just follow your lip line, just like that. And if you want a bigger lip, you just put it a little above your lip line. Okay? And another thing, you also have to take care of your lips. Because sometimes you get these little tiny bumps. I had to try to get rid of mine. That it makes it hard for you to apply the lip because you're going over a little pimple, you know what I'm saying? So, like, take care of your lips, exfoliate. I don't really do much exfoliating. I always just try to find the lip conditioners that help just the dead skin lift up. And I can just wipe it off. I try the little sugar scrubs. They're really not for me. They don't do much for me. But let me get back to this. Then I smile. No, don't mind the crust. It's a little crusty. And I apply the lip. Alright. And there you go. Just about shampoo. And once you have the lip line, it makes it very easier to just apply your lip gloss or your lipstick that you want to apply. And let me just let you know, I, you don't have to have the perfect color with the um, lipstick that you're trying to wear. You just need something that's kind of similar. Like, I'll just put this Nastasha on right now. And you'll see what I mean. You got that lip line on, so you really don't have to go crazy. Once you have that lip line on, you're crazy. And even when you're eating and drinking, the lip line really doesn't come off. You might have to retouch it a little, but the lip line doesn't really come off. Throw that on there. And I really wear this color. I don't think I've ever wore this color. Out. And there you have it. Let me get that a little bit. And there you have it. You have a applied your lipstick with the lip line. There you go. And I'm gonna show you how to do, also do a little bit of um, a shading color in there. Let this dry a little. This is like a cream color to put in the middle. I don't know how much it's gonna come out right now because it's a really dark color. Just might lighten the color a little. Yeah, it's not gonna really come out. So I'll have to show you with something else. Yeah, it's not really gonna come out. Just kind of lightened it a little. And it doesn't look bad. It actually makes it look a little prettier. Especially because I really don't have any makeup right now. But, yeah, but that's how you apply lip line. I did them all the difficult way, but we're going to work together. 
I'm going to kind of give you the harder way. So when you get it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? But there's other ways, and I, which I will show you in a minute. Just hold. Let me go get some tissue to wipe this off. I should have brought that right there, but I didn't. Listen, this is my first time being a YouTuber. I'm trying. Just try it with me. Like this off real quick. All right. I think that took five minutes. Wow, almost on six minutes. Now we're gonna go with a red, and this is by Bite. There you go. And this is a a little bit of an easier way to apply your lip line that I see people do. Just make the little X like that. Start from your lip point. All right. Kind of can see it on my dark. Cute lip, you <laughs> know. Uh, then, like I said, I have a, a large, light lip line, so it makes it kind of easier. But it's really not as hard as you think it is. Just try. All I can always ever tell you, ladies and gents, is just try. Once you try, you're never mad at yourself because you tried. Just saying you can't is not going to help anybody, right? All right. Back to this. Get that side. Then get this side. All right. There you go. All right. All right. There you go. Let's get that bottom. Like I tell you all the time. Do a nice little smell when you're doing the bottom. Then so get that line and see how it's gonna e. There you go. All right. There you go. You got your lip line ready. Other part is easy peasy. I'm gonna apply this e.l.f. lip pencil, lipstick, or whatever. And see, it's not the same color. As you can see, this is like a, a baby blush pink. It is not the same color. And it'll still work. It'll just combine and make like a shadow color thing going on. That there, like that. Put that in. See? See how nice that is? Yeah, okay, let me wipe that off, okay. All right, but see that? A really nice lip line. Your colors don't have to always match the pencil that you use. You can just use a pencil that you have. And another tip I have for you ladies, um, when you go to the 99 cent store or the beauty supply store, buy, always buy the little dollar pencils. The ones that have the little sharpener attached, I always buy those all the time. I use those for everything. I use it for my lips, I can use it for my eyebrows, I use it for eyeliner. But I always have a whole bunch of them so I can have a thousand sharpeners. Because you know we always buy these lip pencils and never have sharpeners. So that's why I always buy those. They're great pencils for backup, for everything. You know, they got the, they got the sharpener and they just back up to just throw in your purse. And just to always have like, a, you'll never run out of um, sharpeners, okay? Well, that was my lip tutorial. And I didn't even say my name at the beginning, but I'm Allie Finale, a.k.a. Altamese, and I'll see you again with my next tutorial. Bye!